वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ मेहतरेश सुहास असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ ए एस डी एस डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम सदगुरु कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर मिरजगाव टुडे वी स्टडी द लेक्चर नंबर फोर फ्रॉम फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर ए एस डी एस कोर्स दैट इज फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग ईल्ड एंड कंपोजिशन ऑफ मिल्क देर आर सम फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट द ईल्ड एंड कंपोजिशन ऑफ मिल्क दैट इज द स्पेसिज ब्रीड एज स्टेज ऑफ लैक्टेशन ड्राई पीरियड प्रेग्नसी सीजनल डिफरसेस मेन्टेनस कंडीशन फीड एंड वॉटर सप्लाय मिलकिंग इंटरवल्स मिलकिंग फ्रिक्वेन्सी डिसीजेस स्ट्रेस एंड अदर मैनेजमेंट फैक्टर्स that factors affect the yield and composition of milk in under normal situations the milk production increases during the first 6 weeks of lactation and then gradually decreases then we see the that factor one by one the first factor is species the each species yields milk of characteristic composition see the table of composition of milk of different species in that table we can see the chemical composition of milk of different species of animal in the composition of different species there is variation or variation in the composition of milk that is in the water fat protein factors and ash percentage there is somewhat uh, high and low in some species then next factor is breed the so it is a known fact that the breed is one of the important factor that influence the composition of milk the western friesian contains lower percentage of fat and protein while jersey cow milk yields contain higher fat and protein and brown swiss stand intermediate them the jersey milk is intensive yellow in color as compared to western friesian and brown swiss milk then in that diagram we can see the various breeds milk yield in the dual purpose breed which gives less milk as compared to milch breed and the milch breed gives less milk as compared to cross breed cows and cross breed cows gives more yield from as compared to milch breed and low as compared to exotic breed then exotic breeds gives more yield as compared to dual purpose breed milch breed and cross breed cows then next is the age the fat percentage of milk increases from second to third lactation and remains same until the advanced age begin the milk fat percent declines slightly as the cow grows older the example the fat percentage of jersey cow is 5.2 at age of 6 to 8 years and at uh, 15 years age of cow the fat percentage is 4.5 percentage the next factor is age of or uh, sorry stage of lactation the first secretion after calving that is colostrum which is a very different from milk in composition it is a lower in water sugar and fat the higher in what protein and ash than normal milk after 1 to 2 months the fat percentage become normal and continue to normal and increase near the end of lactation the milk protein also follow the same trend then in norm in stage of lactation there is normal milk first is normal milk 
the change in composition occur during the first few days continue but reduced rate for about 5 weeks of lactation the fat and protein percentage then rises gradually and may increase more sharply near the end of lactation the lactose decreases while mineral concentration increases slightly during that period then next is the dry period the dairy cows are usually dried off for 2 months prior to next calving the rest period is necessary to maximize milk production in subsequent lactation then third is long dry period the decrease the average annual production of cow by extending the calving time beyond the normal that is 13 to 14 month the causing the decrease in lifetime production of the dairy cow the part of dry period is affected is related to body condition of cow at calving the cows in good body condition at calving produce higher milk yield during the following lactation than in cows in thin body condition at calving then next factor is pregnancy it has in a hereditary effect on milk yield due to the increase in estrogen and progesterone level and sec- then the most of the reduction in milk is due to the up- after the fifth month of pregnancy and by the eighth month there is a 20% less milk uh, compared with non pregnant cow the next is the seasonal differences the percentage of fat and snf show slight but well defined variation during different season of year the cows receive the same ration through the throughout the year shows tendency to decline fat and snf during summer and increase again in winter in general the win- in winter the milk fat is high and amount of milk is low the whole strain that is hf and other large breeds more tolerant to lower temperatures smaller breeds particularly the jersey much more tolerant to high temperature then next is the maintenance condition at adequate maintenance there is a milk yield is high then at the temperature of 37 degrees celsius or uh, in high the milk yield is low and uh, that milk yield is low and milk fat is higher in 20, 37 degrees celsius temperature then then the oxygen concentration is low the milk yield is low and milk fat is high in that milk and then there is air that is ventilation in indoor the milk yield is low when the air or indoor condition is uh, applied on cows or dairy the milk yield is low and milk fat is high in that milk then next is the feed and water supply it it affect the composition of milk to great extent when animals feed concentrate especially oil cake or cotton seed they produce milk with higher fat and snf the animals receiving green fodder only produce milk with less fat percent in in adequate feed nutrients this limits the secretion of milk the next is the concept that is galactopoiesis the galactopoiesis galactopoiesis is nothing but the it is maintenance of lactation it is a closely related to adequate feed intake by the lactation and withholding access to water or 
insufficient supply of water for few hours will result in rapid drop in milk yield. Then next is the milking interval. The fat content of milk of particular cow may show considerable variation from milking to milking. The cows are usually milked at equal intervals that is 12 hour interval for two milking. When the milkings are milked twice a day that is morning milk has a different composition than evening milk. The reduction in milk yield is more in high producing cows than in low producing ones. The incomplete milking for several consecutive days can be permanently reduce milk yield for the entire lactation. Then milking time. For most cows there is milking time is 5 to 6 minutes per cow. The oxytocin hormone is responsible for the let down of the milk. The milk fat concentration is the most effective factor on milking time. In the beginning of milking, the milk contains 1 to 2 percent of milk fat and the final drops of milk contain 6 to 7 percentage of milk fat. Then next is the milking frequency. The cows are usually milked twice a daily. The milking twice a day yields at least 40 percent more milk than once a day and increasing milking frequency to three times a day increases milk yield up to 5 to 20 percent. The next factor is a disease. The main disease that affects the milk yield of dairy cow that is mastasis. A decrease in a production persists after this appearance of clinical signs of mastasis. It is due to the destruction in secretory tissues. The next factor is individuality of cow. The animals belonging to a particular breed and maintained under identical condition produce milk with a different composition and it is due to the individual variations and it could be due to genetic variation. The next is the administration of drugs or hormones. The certain drugs may affect a temporary change in fat. Then the infection or feeding of hormones result in increase both yield and fat of milk. Thank you.